Now, what do you think about this America's best value in newly renovated $59.95 plus tax Sunday to Thursday? You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't go for that? No? All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think I've stayed there. You probably. <laughs> well, Bucky's, we'll see you. Great time. I can't wait to eat my beef jerky for dinner. They do have a nice dog area. Yeah. And, uh, Billy, make sure you don't leave anything behind. You catch our drift? You catch, oh, hey she, she left something behind. And I'm just doing a little check on the math here, driving Kathy crazy, because I keep asking her to do calculations. She threw in the towel and I was asking Siri to do some calculations. He's, Siri is much more pleasant in the morning. That's not nice. See? That wasn't nice. See? Very pleasant. Since you talk, 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 talk. That's enough. That's pleasant. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave, where we've got the brand new Model Y. This is the long range version. It's a 2023. It's got precisely 28 miles on it. It's got a range of 330 miles, but we're going 1,350 miles. I wonder how it's going to be on the Tesla NACS charging network. If I were a betting man, and sometimes I do like to go to the casinos, I would say that this is going to be a very uneventful trip. Now, now that I've said that, who knows what's going to happen? So join me, my wife Kathy, our little pup Bailey, in Kathy's brand new Model Y heading down to Marco Island, Florida from Darien, Connecticut. You know we're going to have fun. Come on, join me for a ride. Okay, so as we get on to Route 95 in Darien, Connecticut, just stopped off at the mobile. Never did that before. Green Mountain Coffee. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the Dunkin' Donuts is a little bit out of the way here, so I apologize for that, Kathy. But as we start on our trek, you want to go to Florida? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Well, Very. well, as we start on our trek to Florida... I uh, did charge last night to 100%, and we are now just a few miles from from home, not even that far. What is it, 6 o'clock? 6 a.m. Yeah. It's Saturday morning, July, July, June. whatever, July, June. It makes a difference to me. Well, uh, yeah, like 30 days well, or so. Only at the beginning of vacation. When you have a, a tall cup of coffee, I like to, I like to work it. You know, you can't just leave it in the cup holder, because it, it could spill. Not on my new car. Not on the new spill. car. So we did charge to 100% last night, AC, and what I did was I set the charge, the time in the the scheduler within the Tesla app for us to leave right at 5:30 a.m. That was kind of our goal. We stayed up a little later last night than I thought. So it uh, finished charging right at 525. I got a message on my, on my app from my, actually from the Autel charger and the Tesla app, which was great. Level two to it. Now this car is gonna live a little bit of a hard life over the next month because there's really not that much level two charging available down in Florida. So when Kathy is going to be charging for the most part you're going to be going to the tesla supercharger so it's going to be living uh from from birth to dc fast charging a little bit of a hard life but um you know once in a while i would charge it to 100 no right? no 80%. definitely yeah Good. yeah this battery you know we i think you're safe going to 90 percent 85 percent 90 percent a truckload of teslas who I would have thought that. who would have thought um, yeah, so anyway, let's go. I don't know how long this is going to take us. A long time. But, you know. But we're on the road. That's all that matters. Car feels great. And it holds a lot. We have an insane amount of stuff. It's amazing. Compared to your GV60 frunk, that's actually no, usable. I have four. No, I have three giant bags in the front yeah. and um, water bottles. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Plus my whole computer case. Oh, you got that up there too? Yeah. Oh, no, that's in the back. Okay. I, I don't know. So, 
All right. Well, listen. Uh, well, thanks for joining us on our road trip. Yeah. And hope, I'm hoping it'll be uneventful. Yeah. You know, I said that in the opening. And oh. you know what happens when you say things like that. I just said hoping. I didn't say hoping. I said it's going to be. And that was a mistake. The one thing we are definitely doing, no matter what, we're going to Bucky's. I know. That's one of the things I'm really and happy Bucky's about. Bucky's has a supercharger. I mean, come on. EA, open your eyes. You got to have a supercharger at Bucky's in Florence, South Carolina. All right, let's just start the morning calm. We're oh, very calm. Yes. Bucky's, it would be nice for you to install DC fast charging. I almost said supercharging at Bucky's. We love Bucky. Are, are, are we going to see Pedro though? No. That is never Come on. Just, just one taco. Okay, so just a quick update. We're exactly 100 miles into the trip. We are showing a state of charge of 61% left. Now remember that we charged to 100% and it showed 329 miles of indicated range. But the statistics here are, in my opinion, extremely impressive. We've gone 100 miles in one hour and 24 minutes which is exactly 71 miles per hour. And if we assume the battery pack, I know that this is an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack, but let's say usable 80,000 uh, watt hours or kilowatt, kilowatts, uh, kilowatt hours. If I, I am, my average energy consumption right now is 280 watt hours per mile. So, at 71 miles per hour, which is basically the same exact test that Kyle did when he did the 70 mile an hour test in the in the Model Y long range. And he came up with, I think it was 286 miles of, uh, of range. And what's interesting is if I calculate 281 watt hours per mile, assuming an 80,000, uh, 80 kilowatt hour battery, that is exactly 283 miles of real world range in this car. And so A, that's spot on to the analysis that Kyle did, which is good verification. Um, we haven't really had much traffic. Our average speed again, has been 71, blown from Connecticut all the way through we're down in Trenton, New Jersey now, exit seven off the um, New Jersey Turnpike. And that's going through, you know, GW Bridge, uh, you know, all the way down through Westchester County. So we left at 6 a.m. It's now 7.30 and, uh, you know, really super impressive in terms of the efficiency of this car. I'm not sure I'm really not sure that it makes a ton of sense to get the the um, the performance and a couple of reasons for that. The efficiency is not as good. You really don't need to go that much faster than what this car does. I mean, this car feels fast. Oh, it's fast. It feels really fast. And then the other thing that that is 
really something that I'm impressed with is I remember certain stretches of Route 95 going through Westchester County around New Rochelle. And then as you're coming down by the hutch, there were certain turns a couple of years ago where I used to have to hold on in the Model Y and we had 19 inch wheels, um, you know, so not, not the, the fancy wheels or anything like that. The suspension on this 2023 with the 19s, first of all, long range, it's all the speed you need, really, seriously, it goes. If you want that queasy feeling, makes you nauseous, okay, go for the performance, it's a party trick, but, and it's a good value because you do get better brakes, you get a lowered suspension, you get the metal, you know, accelerator and brake pedal, they do look better. And, um, and you get the underline in the back bumper under dual motor. Yeah, you get the little line under where it says dual motor. You do get that little carbon fiber, fiber spoiler. Yeah, you did like And that. so I would like everyone to comment. I really like that little fiber, carbon fiber spoiler. Would we be posers if we put that on this car? Yes. No, no, okay, I, you oh. think we'd be a poser. But I would just be curious what all of you think. Do you think we'd be posers? I know that I should do what I like, but I just like the look of that that stupid little carbon fiber thing, especially on a white car. It sets it off so nicely. But back to the whole performance versus long range thing. The ride in this car with the 19s is, I'm not gonna say it's loose and smooth ride, but compared to the Model 3, oh. Um, With the 18s, yeah. this rides, I think, better. Agreed, of course. You would agree. Okay. You also felt you also made a comment which you feel like this is better built. Can you explain that? Well, better built than your Model yeah. 3. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why did you say that? Well, because I drove your Model 3 a lot last week. Right. And uh, we were trying to keep the miles low on the GV60. Yeah. Just to make sure we don't get messed up with the trade-in value. Yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I heard maybe more creaks and rattles. Oh, the seat's and nasty. I'm getting well, a whole new seat. The seat. I heard something in the door. I know. Door. I know that. I it's got just it. stuff. I feel this is quieter. Yeah. This is, feels quieter. I did. Yeah. I did find out what that problem is. I'll make another video on that. It's the and thank you everyone who who um, was giving me pointers. I was hearing this metal on whatever plastic on metal sound in my Model 3. It turns out to be in the wheel well, the arch of the wheel well, they used to use kind of like a felt or a carpeted material in there, and they've gone to a hard plastic. And on both sides, when I touched it, you could hear the rattle, the exact rattle. So thank you, whoever, a few of you actually said that that was maybe the culprit, and I'm convinced it is, so we'll have that fixed. But look, when you buy the Model Y, unless you really love the look of those 21 inch wheels or even the 20 inch wheels, don't overbuy this car. These 19 inch wheels and this suspension is amazing. Now I can't, this is the 2170 battery pack. This is the conventional, this is the proven Model Y that's been around, but they did improve. I don't know what they did, but they did improve I had read about this from the 2022. Now remember last year when we rented the Model Y from Hertz? Yes. And you know, like compared that to the to the GV60 ride, it it wow. was it was GV60 was superior. It was it was a lot better. I would say the GV60 still rides quieter than this car. I do hear a little bit of road noise. It's not this car is not as insulated as well. As a matter of fact, the uh, GV60 has got, they pipe uh, anti, not anti, but they have um, sound uh, canceling, noise canceling in the sound system that is interesting. I believe they also have that in the Model S and the X, not in the Y. So the, the GV60 is quieter, and I think it is a little bit smoother riding, but this is a much, much, better suspension on this Model Y so far. And now we're compared on the- Compared to my old Model y. Compared to your old Model Y, the 2021 that you had. And also compared to the 2022 that we rented from Hertz. So look, I, I don't know if it's 
someone had asked me, sent me an email uh, and, and said, look, I've got a 2021 Model Y. I'm not really happy with the ride. Is Can you let me know if you think the ride is that much better that I should sell my car and buy the new one? Now, I don't know if I'd go so far as saying that, especially I'd have to understand what, what wheel tire combo you've got set up. If you've got the 20s on your Model Y from 2021 or 2022, I would suggest going with a set of not even 19s, but I would go with a set of 18 Martian wheels, BMW 05s, and uh, call Drew Peterson, who's the CEO over at Martian. I had those on, um, I had a set of 19s on my Model S, which were great. And I believe if you want to go for the smoothest ride, I was talking to Drew the other day, you can put 18s on this car, on this Model Y. And I would suggest that before you go out and buy a whole new car, <laughs> try that. Um, unless you just want a whole new car, then go for it. Why not? But look, so far, amazing ride. Big difference. Love it. Love it. So we are 50% state of charge right now. And we've gone 135 miles since the start of this trip. And I'm just doing a little check on the math here, driving Kathy crazy, because I keep asking her to do calculations. She threw in the towel and I was asking Siri to do some calculations. He's, Siri is much more pleasant in the morning. That's not nice. See? That wasn't nice. See? Very pleasant. Since um, you talk, 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 talk. That's enough. That's pleasant. 6 a.m. It's a lot. Uh, okay. I'm warming, I'm warming up to you. I, I, I see that. I'm, a little, I'm getting a little scared over here. Bailey. Oh, Bailey is, uh, she's sitting in the back. She's all like hunkered down. Uh, all right. So here's the thing. We're 50% of the way into the ride. We've gone... 135 miles and we've got an average speed still around 71 miles an hour and and uh we're burning 281 watt hours per mile so my question is what's the usable capacity of this battery pack we all know that it's got an 82 kilowatt hour gross battery pack uh but i really just after doing the calculations I think that this is about a 76, 76 kilowatt hour battery pack. Because if I if I take 76,000 divided by 281, which is pretty much the watt hour per mile that I'm getting, that gives me 200 and roughly 270 miles of estimated range. And at a 50% state of charge, I went 135 miles, double that, and you got 270. So I think the average or the, the size, usable size of the battery pack, based on my rough calculations in this car, is 77 kilowatt hours. Um, so there you have it. Do you agree? Yes. See how pleasant I am? Can you explain what I just said? Try. I don't want to, I wasn't even listening. <sighs> And you say David doesn't listen? Okay. All right. Just, just take no phone.
man, you gotta love Waze, right? Waze, we're going down 95, we're just north of Baltimore. It says, get off this exit. There's an express lane here that we are now flying on. And, and nobody else is. And nobody else over there on the, on the local, well, they're just. Now we'll see what, why. Well, we'll see, exactly. we'll see why, but th that is horrible traffic over there. And we are just flying by. I almost feel so guilty. Like I love ways, love it. Anyway. I'm glad, I'm glad we're here. This is still backed up. It is. Oh wait, I see the things up ahead. Yeah, but that's okay. All right, so so look, just, um, you know, we're heading over, look at this 18 wheeler, he's cutting over. Yeah, let's. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. That's a that's a bold move. Awesome. <laughs> he's like, I need I, think he's I need down, some coffee. I think he's gonna knock down some. He's poles. like, I need some coffee. So, I'm getting out of here. Don't say it's a truck. Oh, it's a it's a it looks like a bad accident. Oh, oh okay. Well, we're gonna slow down here. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, it involved crash. Three left lanes closed. So. All that traffic into one. Is this a U-Haul truck? Oh, hey now. Oh boy. Can you, uh, I don't know. We don't need to film this, but. No, it don't. It doesn't look good. I think it's a, I think it might be a motorcycle. Oh gosh, I hope not. Well, people are standing, so. Oh no, it's not. He's a, oh wow. Oh. Oh, a truck overturned. Oh man. Oh, and that guy looks like really devastated. Oh. And there is debris all oh, yeah. over the road. Furniture. Furniture. Yeah, it was a moving truck. Oh, oh. Gosh, it's terrible. How do you flip like that? Well, oh, I guess you slam on your brake. And oh boy. There it is. All right. Well, look, Ways. Thank you for sending us around that that accident. That's not good. Everyone, be careful out there. Uh, wow. I hope that guy is all right. He was. He, he looked all right. Just. A, Shaking, shaking up, up. Yeah. yeah and there was some there was some fur furniture all over the all over 95 clean up aisle oh, six over. big time right wow. not good anyway um so we are heading to laurel maryland for our first supercharger stop it's amazing when you go and you look for superchargers the way i like to road trip teslas is i don't like to plan it out i like to see how i'm doing I like to get down the road quite a, quite a bit, and then I like to search for superchargers. And when you search for them on the map, you can just hit each one of them, and you can see if they're, you know, if they're 150s, if they're 250s, version threes, version twos, if they're urban urban superchargers, the 75s. And so, I I hit for a Laurel, which uh, we've been there many times at Laurel. And, and it told me we were gonna arrive there with 11%. And that didn't make sense to me. And then I noticed that it was telling us to stop in Aberdeen, Maryland before. This is all just north of Baltimore. Um, and I was like, what? That's, that's like wrong. So too conservative, I should say. So what I did was I deleted Abington and it told us Aberdeen. that Aberdeen, not Abington, Aberdeen. And and then it said, okay, we're gonna arrive at Laurel with a 4% state of charge, which is fine. I mean, no, no big deal. And what I what I tend to do with with the uh, with any of these electric cars, whether they're CCS or Tesla, is I look at how much range I have left as an estimation and as a both a percentage and also um, as, as how many miles I have left as an estimate. And what I see is that I've got 49 miles estimated range. And when I eliminated Aberdeen, it told me I would arrive at 7% at Laurel now. So it's only 27 miles away from... Should we get back in the regular lane and not the express now? Oh. I think we're okay. Yeah, so so we've got, it's only 27 miles to Laurel and we've got 49 miles of estimated range. So as I, as those two numbers start to converge, what I try to do is arrive as close to 0% as possible. 
and you always with Tesla, especially you always have a bailout. You can always pull over and go to a different supercharger to get a, a little bit of juice. We also have with us the uh, the CCS to Tesla adapter, which gives me not only all of the Tesla superchargers, but also if I really get in a pinch. Now keep um, to take exit 62. If I get in a pinch, then what I will do is I will look for most likely Electrify America stations uh, as well. So this little device here gives you the best of both worlds, which is, um, you know, the, the CCS Network Plus, the Tesla Network, the NACS Tesla Network, Supercharger Network. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think that Tesla, they haven't changed their conservative sort of estimates in terms of what you should do to road trip. Now, listen, if you just don't want to think about it, just do what Tesla tells you to do. But what I'm telling you is that if you use your brain and you understand, now think about things like cold weather, think about things like wind, think about things like potentially elevation, take all of that into account and don't always override what Tesla says, but make it a game, think about it and and I think what you'll do is you'll eliminate unnecessary supercharger stops and push it a little bit further, perhaps, than you would normally do. So that's my advice. Uh, 24 miles to Laurel with 47 miles in the tank. This is no problem. I could let it rip here and burn the juice. So let's keep going. Right, so we are 4.7 miles away from Laurel. We're going by NSA, but we just went through Columbia, Maryland, and that brought back a memory that I want to share with you. My father, back in the day, I wanted to get a computer, and I think I was in high school or maybe early college, and, and this was in the day of the IBM PC, which came out in 1981, maybe 82. And Compaq had these, had these uh, portable, they were suitcase size computers all in one. Like, Dad, we gotta get a computer. And he said, well, what do we need a computer for? And I said, we just need, we got, I don't know, but we gotta get a computer. And I mean, who knew computers were gonna be, you know, crazy turning into what they turned into. Everybody thought computers were used by corporations to process payroll and accounting systems and a personal computer, who needs that? And I say, hey dad, 
we could do banking. Mm -hmm. Citibank just came out with this thing where you could actually, they're going to send you a modem. It's a 300 baud modem, B-A-U-D. For those of you who know, that's really slow. 300 baud modem for free, and you could do online banking. And so my dad said, okay. And he spent a lot of money for this. I was so happy. I was so excited. And then um, we couldn't figure out how to use right. the Citibank direct access, it was called back then in the day. And Kathy and I were dating. And so it was college. Yeah, it, was it, it wasn't high school because I, I met you. So that must have been 1980 something, 1990 something. Back in the day. Back in the day. Anyway, so... So we had a problem and we couldn't figure out how to get connected to this direct access using this Columbia Data Products suitcase, AKA laptop computer. So we called and your brother picked up the phone. My brother? Your brother, George, because George was working for Citibank so as a- uh, Randomly? Yeah, randomly. Like I, I knew him, I had met him and, and I was talking to him and He's like, Dave, it's George, because he knew he knew we called in. And so he was our support guy. Oh my God. It was like his first job out of college. He worked for Citibank. That's funny. And um, <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't believe that. So uh, so anyway, here we are in uh, Laurel, just just um, actually south of Baltimore. I think maybe I said that we were going to stop north of Baltimore. So we're north of Washington, D.C., south of Baltimore. And we're heading over to the Supercharger Laurel. It's a 250, which I'm excited about to see how long this car actually holds the 250. Now the 4680 pack that I, we were gonna buy, the all wheel drive Model Y, I was very curious about how that would charge. And I know that that does not pull 250. I heard rumors that it would pull 230, 240, but the most I ever saw in any kind of video was 207. So for those of you out there who have the 4680 all-wheel drive model wise, I'd be curious to know, what are you pulling as far as energy peak? And then what does the curve look like? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that I, that I take note as to how this car charges because I hear, you know, it should pull 250 peak and then it should stay pretty close to that. We're going to be pulling in at a probably a 6% state of charge. We're showing 21 miles left in the tank and we're only 1.1 miles away. So again, overriding what uh, Tesla recommended for us to stop in Aberdeen was absolutely the right thing to do. Now, our speeds got a little bit slower in the last uh, in the last section. So just to summarize the trip, we've gone 252 miles and only burned 274 watt hours per mile. We've been driving for three hours and 40 minutes you can do the math as far as our average speed, but uh, definitely not 71 miles an hour because we, we were going much slower there. But it's been a very good, uneventful trip. I just feel bad for that guy that flipped his truck. I, know. Um, I, hope, I hope everyone's okay. And um, yeah, no, listen, this is good. We're gonna pull it into our, our first supercharging stop on your for June bug for June bug, June bug gets our first little charge. right so a little I, juice for I'm, June bug. I must say I'm a little anxious I hope that it works I hope that you know maybe the the chargers the superchargers aren't nerfed or maybe like six out of the eight or how many are there here um yeah uh, uh, six out of the eight are uh, I think this is it right here oh yeah this is not it David doesn't pay attention. You can talk and drive. I can, usually. All right, we're going to do a Yui. Hang a Louie. Hang a Louie Yui. Hang a Louie Yui. What is this in here? I don't know. Horses. I want to go. Guests. Are we in Saratoga? What's going on? Um, you distracted me. You did. Blame it on the co-pilot. Yeah, you, you definitely... You distracted I'm Such a distraction. You've been distracting All me. All I do is sit here. Ever since I, I met you, you've here. been distracting me. I'm just sitting here. You're just sitting there? Yeah. Well, that's all you need to do. You know? When are you going to drive? Well, I was going to drive if you let me nap before, but you didn't let me nap, so I'm not ready to drive. I let you nap. Yeah, you did. All right. Well, I, I'm just, I have so much anxiety. <laughs> 
pulling into this Tesla supercharger. Oh, I hope it works. And I wonder if it's at a Walmart. No, it's I know. Oh no, it's but it's at something with a W. Oh really? Wawa. Oh, I, Wawa. I love Wawa. 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 Wawa has good food. I see the Wawa. The and Wawa. I see the chargers. Not only is it is it is it Go is it here. a good place. It's fun to say, Wawa. All right. Yes. There's a Model Three pulling in. There's and one's charging. Yeah. All right. I don't think this is going to be a problem. Hey, do you need to get your nails done? No, nope, we had them done. All right, because you, you, there's the Laurel oh, Nail Spa. Yeah. All right, here we are, <gasps> pulling into the Wawa right. in Laurel. Oh, I was—I remember being here recently. Okay, got three Teslas charging. All right, well, let's go over by this Model Y. He's got the 20-inch wheels. Two blue, one gray. Ooh, nice, nice wrap on this that Model S. Yes, Bailey. Yes, we're going to get you out. She's been so good. We haven't even had a peep out of her. All right. There she is. All right. We're 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 going to take you for a walk in a minute. We're going to leave you on dog mode for a little bit. But let's plug in and see what we, what we pull. See this ballast here? You got to be careful with those. Well, this backup camera is too I know. Perfect. It's great. All right. Let's see what we get. All right, so it's 70 degrees out, light wind. We wanted to put dog mode on, but keep in mind, dog mode and sentry mode both don't work under 20% state of charge. Well, Kathy, you're going to do the honors. This is very hard, you know. Well. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Honey, no, lift oh, it up. The lift There's it. The There's no button. Oh, that's all you... Right. Okay. okay, I'm a little rusty. All Give right. me a break. No, wait. Okay, there you go. Would it have done it by itself? You, if you hit the button on this, that will open it. See, look, if you... No, I didn't know that. Okay, well, next time you I can need do a that. Tutorial. All right. There it goes. I just wait for it to turn green. Usually average is about six seconds for the handshake. Look at that. No, there That's it is. Bad. June bug charging started at 9.49 a.m. with battery at 20 miles. Wow, listen to this thing. That's interesting. You're hearing it here and not over by the charging cabinets. Let's see what we're going to pull. Oh, this is so exciting. Let's see what we're going to pull. Supercharging tips. Hey, it's giving you tips here. Find the fastest supercharger. Navigate to the supercharger. Arrive with 20% battery or less. I like that. I would say with 3% or less. We pulled in with 6%. Leave space between cars. Move your car after charging. I like that. That's excellent. Yeah, I've never seen that. That's good. Sure. 251. Look at that. All right, so we pulled in, plugged in at a 6% state of charge. We are currently already 37 miles of range. We're already at an 11% state of charge, still pulling 251. See, this is what I'm talking about. That This is a good charging session. Who would have who would have thought that we'd have a good charging session? Now, how hard was that to uh, to plug in, Kath? Not at all. It was easy. It I just was, couldn't remember it. I know. I know. It's been a long time. I couldn't remember how to see how fast it was charging, and I, I I'm driving a Model Three. We've got a little taper action going on here at 14 percent, down to 247. <laughs> we'll take that. All right, we'll check in in a bit. All right, we're now at 20 percent. It's 9.52 a.m. and we're still pulling 229 kilowatts, which is just, that's great. This is an amazing charging session so far. All right, at 27%, 200 kilowatts. There, it just dipped under there. So from 6% to 27%, the taper went from 250 down to 200. That's solid, guys. That's, that's really good. Very good, I, I mean, this is a, a good charging session, I'm pleased. Here we are on our first charge in Laurel, Maryland. We left Darien, Connecticut this morning at 6 a.m. and we stopped here with a 6% state of charge. The car has been terrific, uh, but we're here to talk about the charging session. And with huge anxiety, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to get a good charge or not. You know what? It's a perfect charging session. We pulled 251, awesome charging session. Um, right off the bat at 6% state of charge, 
Uh, it dropped down to around 200% at, um, I can't remember exactly which, but it was a linear curve. I'll have that in my full video. And at 55%, we dropped just under 100. We're currently at about a 77% state of charge. We'll be unplugging here in just a few moments, up to 80%. And then we'll be hitting up, hitting up our next charging session. We are, we've got a Wawa here, which is great. Lots of good snacks at the Wawa. Um, you've got a couple of other stores over here. Kind of a, an interesting area. Maybe I'll be a little careful here, perhaps at night, uh, but it's fine during the day. Uh, good session, really right off the, uh, off the highway. It's a 250 V3. And uh, who would have thought a flawless session at Tesla Supercharger? Oh man, you gotta love road tripping Teslas. Just so easy. All right, so we just finished our charging session at Laurel, Maryland. Excellent charging session. And uh, shout out to Perry, a viewer. He uh, was in his wife's Model 3, white, white. And he drives a Model Y, white, white. So I don't know. I'm surrounded by white, white people. <laughs> it's really white. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So uh, I think Tessa, like I said in the other the other day, they could just, you know, kill all the colors. Just go white, white. Anyway. Um, we were parked next to somebody who had it wrapped. Yeah. Really fancy, he had a, right? like that one of them. Good. It was a Model S white, um, not a white. Um, it's like a. It was like a, a dark gray, dark gray matte finish. Beautiful. Frozen. Some people call them frozen. Look good. Look good. Older car. Look good though. Anyway, we are back on our way, just north of Washington D.C. I think this is the. What do they call this? The BWI. I think. The. No um, idea. Yeah, I think it I is. Just know we're going south, and south is the way. South. We need to go. Yeah. Beautiful day. 77 degrees, sunny. The wind has died down. Just had some uh, little snack from the Wawa. You gotta love the Wawa. A nice proper cup of coffee. Yeah. Actually, the coffee's good. Oh yeah. So I'm more pleasant now, maybe. That's Feel a good thing. Awake. That's a good thing. Feel awake. But you're still not driving yet. You want me to drive now? No. Next stop, maybe. All right. All right. So let's make it through Washington D.C. and. Look like we're backed up here again. Yeah, a little bit. Not, not too bad. All right, here All right, we go. Let the road trip continue. Yeah. Oh, it is backed up there. Oof. So a little bit of an update. We are destined for Halifax, North Carolina. Or is that Virginia? I don't remember. Anyway. And the goal would be to get there today. Yeah, because this the only good news about this trip so far is our our efficiency. <laughs> because we've gone exactly 400 miles since we left. And 
we've been we've been traveling an awful long time. It's um, it's been eight hours. We've been on the road, and we only stopped once at uh, at the Wawa. Yeah. Traffic has been horrible. We had a really good first, oh. you know, 250 miles. But ever since Washington, and it wasn't Washington D.C. No, because it was south of Washington D.C. Yeah. And it was considerably south of Washington D.C. You know, I don't know if for those of you who know the center lane in the in the mornings on weekdays it runs northbound, and then in the center lane on the weekend uh, at weeknights it goes southbound well we went in the center lane today and 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 it was just jammed and also the the uh well, the, two decisions we made we flew by some of right the traffic, we, we, so we did well we did get a little bit of, right but anyway it's been horrendous so now we're doing a total of we're, we're doing six miles an hour now which is pretty Woo, good pretty on. good you know this this uh this car does zero to six miles an hour in um about about an hour you know it's about an hour so anyway um what did i want to update on um I have no idea. oh the trip <laughs> gosh i think you just updated i'm i'm losing my mind here because of this traffic anyway except uh, you know david you like to play with things so while we were sitting in traffic i got all sorts of noises going on in the car. Oh, fart mode. <laughs> yeah, and it does work. I will confirm. Fart mode works on this on this car. And we had Santa mode going. We had Santa mode, Santa which is my mode. favorite. Santa mode in, in, you know, June. Yeah, why yeah, not? When it's 83 degrees out. Right. All right. Um, we're now doing zero miles per hour. Oh, wait. Well, hey, now. Um, yeah, two things that we have found out. Actually, I knew this, but... Kathy said, all right, I want to have Sirius XM. So in my Model S's that I've had most recently, I would just, I, I had an account and I would just authorize it. Well, I had forgotten that the S's and the X's are the only two Teslas that have Sirius XM. The threes and the Y's don't, but don't fear, no, no fear, because you can get an account that's a subscription for just, you know, like on your phone. And and then what you and can then just do, Bluetooth you in. just Bluetooth it in, you just stream it in. So we're, we're going to set that up. And somebody's got a good sound system. Yeah, it looks like here is where they're starting to push people. Maybe I don't, I don't know. know. No, I still I don't know. We're just we're just stopped completely here. <gasps> um, that's okay. I'm still having fun with you. That's because we always have fun on road trips. Yeah, this is more of a sit trip. And Bailey's being a really good girl. She is. She hasn't yeah. made a peep. Can you have her come out? No. <laughs> now, what do you think about this America's Best Value in newly renovated fifty nine ninety five plus tax Sunday to Thursday? You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't go for that. No. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think I've stayed there. You probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have, and it was before it was renovated. Uh, anyway, the, the car has been phenomenal, and it, it's doing great. And one of the things that I noticed that I, I a lot of cars do this, but um, I know your Genesis. You know, you come home from work, you're cranking the music. Could be late, could be early in the morning. You're cranking the music, whatever it is, and you open the door. And the music still cranks. And what I love about Teslas is, is that as soon as you open the door, the music dims. Dims? It, it lowers. Lowers, yeah. So we don't have our neighbors yeah, yelling at us, saying, you know, why are you cranking double Dutch bus so fa so so loud at 9 p.m. when I'm trying to sleep? We have a sleepy neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, next stop, Halifax whichever state it is, if we ever get there. I, I, think, it, I think it's got to not be North Carolina yet. Isn't Rocky Mount the first one we come to? Well, let's Carolina? let's look at this here. It is North Carolina. It's just over the border just into over. North Carolina. Okay. And uh, I, I think it's actually Roanoke Rapids, maybe. I don't know. Uh, what is this? Yeah, Halifax. There's a 15, there's a 20 stall, 250 oh, V3. Good. Yeah, <clears throat> forty cents a kilowatt hour. Yeah. So anyway, there, there we go. 
Okay. All That's right. it. Uneventful. I can't wait to get the Bucky's. 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 I'm gonna get. You know what I'm gonna get? What? I'm gonna get me a beef brisket Brisket's sandwich. Like really good beef brisket and i'm gonna get some beef jerky too the custom beef jerky the ones in the metal pans where you say i want that one or that it's like you're going to an italian cookie store and they have you know the rainbow cookies they got those ones with the with the raspberry filling and and like the chocolate dip and the and the the sprinkles but only on Stop one side making me hungry no you know Stop. though like it's like that except the whole thing is beef jerky I know, I've been there. Uh, I mean, like, that's awesome. That's heaven. Love Bucky. The only thing I need is Italian cookies right next to it. Okay, we'll put in, a, I'll put in our word. That's not on the plan. I don't know. Beef we'll jerky could request. be on the plan. All right. Okay, well, good news. You're not in the car with us, so... Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Quick update. We are 21 miles away from Halifax. We've got 34 miles of range. We're currently at a 10% state of charge. The system is telling us we'll arrive with a 2% state of charge. And, um, you know, plenty of buffer there, right? Plenty, pl no, you don't think so? So look, the technique is, don't listen to what Tesla tells you to stop 14%, 20%. Push it and control it with speed going in. I look at two numbers. I like the percentage game, but I actually like the miles estimated range a little bit better, especially when we got a nice sunny day, it's 84 degrees. I know that um, battery pack is toasty. We're not even preconditioning. Um, and that may be because we're at a low state of charge, or it might be just because we're at the optimal temperature. We've been driving on the highway for quite a while. So I look at the two numbers. Uh, for those of you who have watched the channel in the past, what's, what do I have in the tank? As I say, I've got 32 miles of range and I've got 20 miles to go. That means I've got a 12 mile buffer. And that's assuming that there's nothing below zero and there is in this car. I'm not gonna say how much, I don't wanna, you know, I'm not sure exactly, but I would imagine um, we've got a, a pretty decent buffer below 0%. So. So we've got, as these two numbers start to converge, all I need to do is slow down a little bit. I'm doing 70 miles an hour in a 70 mile an hour, um, oh, my GoPro just died. Anyway, I'm doing 70 miles an hour in a 70 mile an hour speed limit zone. And we'll just keep it going like this. We'll be there shortly in um, 18 minutes and we'll pull in hopefully at 1% or maybe even zero, we'll see. You see we are, how many miles? 14 miles away with an estimated 2% arrival. Here we are, welcome to North Carolina. Clap, all right, good job, all right. And we've got 24 miles in the hopper, in the tank, and we only have 13 miles to go. So there's your 11 mile buffer. And are you all right over there? <laughs> Come on. This is not in spec, Dave. I know, I, I don't, uh, look, I don't do this. <laughs> We're fine. 13 miles to go, 23 miles of range. We're gonna pull in with a 10 mile buffer. This is child's play. <laughs> All right, so we've arrived in Halifax with a 2% state of charge. We've got a Dunkin' Donuts, some pizza, and what else? A V3 and lots of, lots of people here, but really kind of empty to be honest. How many cars? Four, five cars now, five cars. So uh, let's see what we got. We got we got Belly doing over her thing over there. Kathy, you doing your thing too? Yeah, All right, there she goes. We got the V3 firing up. Let's see what we pull. Oh. All right. At a two percent state of charge, one seventy. 
this is it ramping up here folks this is the way it should be plug in six seconds does the handshake and you got your 251 252 so you know we're gonna go Kathy and I are gonna go inside and what are we starting we started to charge at 334 we're gonna go inside and eat but because dog mode doesn't work less than 20 percent what we're going to do because it's also 85 degrees out we're gonna we're gonna walk Bailey until we get up probably around right at 20 percent as soon as we can turn dog mode on we'll go in we'll eat we'll probably do a deep charge maybe go to 90 percent just to get a little a little relaxing it is uh 336 we've been on the road nine and a half hours and uh yeah so good good charging session here once again tesla proves to be the gold standard downright boring you gotta love it bailey hey bailey bailey come here girl hey come here what are you doing hey hey how's it going Huh? You having fun out there? There's lots of things to explore. Yeah. Oh, she's been here. She remembers this place. Yeah, so the trip so far has been flawless. No issues at all. Uh, this Model Y is performing as advertised. The charging's been flawless. The drive has been flawless. A lot of traffic, which isn't, uh, which isn't great. You can hear... You can hear the compressors and and the and the uh, the pumps keeping that battery pack cool. Obviously, we've got a toasty day out here, 85 degrees, pumping a lot of energy in there, 252 kilowatts. And uh, you know, Tesla just knows what they're doing. We got the we got Bailey's water bowl over there, so keep her hydrated. We've got the little green flashing quickly, which means it's a low state of charge. For those that are new to Tesla, that green light will start charging. It'll start flashing slower as you get to a higher state of charge. And ultimately, it'll just turn solid green once you've actually reached your full state of charge, whatever that is set to. Let's see what we're still doing. Okay, at 19%, we've ramped down to 204, 203 kilowatts interesting i wonder if it's if it's warm seems like it's ramped down a little sooner than i would have expected but uh yeah look we'll, we'll take the juice i think we're at 20 percent now we can put her on the hook and go get something to eat super nice touch here in halifax with the uh this is something that kyle's never seen before i don't believe he's ever seen one of these i'm gonna use it uh, but, you know, having garbage pails and also windshield washer right here at the supercharger, that is a welcome addition. I'd like to see that in more places. Really like that. So here we are in Halifax, and what's interesting is on the, on the app when you're driving over here, it says that there are 12 stations, and there are over there. But looky here, we've got an eight, eight additional stations, and this looks like it's either just opened or imminently going to open. I mean, the signs aren't even up here. You can see they haven't even put the signs up, and we've got signs of digging over here. These are V3s. We've got eight of them, and uh, Tesla just continuing to expand. Foot on the gas. Wait a minute. Did I just say that? They just keep expanding, expanding. So this Halifax now is 20 stations, but um, if it's not up and running now, I think it's got to be up and running within a day or two. I could, maybe I should drive the car over here and check it out. Let's see if they're up and running. I'll do that. And then uh, before we leave, but uh, yeah, Kathy, this is great find on your part here. I didn't even see these over here. And just think, if you didn't want to pull in with 2% because you were chicken, we would have missed all of them. 2% is child's play. We should have we should have been doing 100 on the road. We would have pulled in at 0% then. But look, you know, lots of lots of room for the children to play over here. 
And uh, it is. What is that? An old chicken coop thing over there? You know, this is this is beautiful. Lots of room for the dogs to run. For for your wife to run. <laughs> All right. So here we are in Halifax, North Carolina. Pulled in with a two percent state of charge. At about 4% ramped right up, or 5%, it was pulling 250 right away. This is a 12-station supercharger. But as we were driving here, I noticed on the, uh, on the screen it said it's a 20-station. And I was a little confused because I remember, you know, I was always laughing at the fact that he's got 12 Tesla stations over here. And then the North Carolina Electric Cooperative, they got a massive one install over here for the CCS. And they've also got a, uh, believe it or not, there's a Chatamo on there as well. So know if you're driving a Leaf on a road trip here, uh, you know, you can get it. But look what we have over here. Check this out. Eight new stations. I don't know that these are up or not. I'm going to drive over there and check it out before I, uh, before I leave. Um, the, state, the session's going great. No issues here. We got a Dunkin' Donuts. We got some pizza. If you, if you need gas, they have gas here as well. There's a lot of room here for your dogs to run around, a lot of grass and all that. But look at this, Tesla is just killing it, right? Eight more stations. So Halifax has got a total of 20 now. Compare that to one. It is up and running though. It's a charge point unit. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Uh, if Kyle were here, he would tell you exactly what kind of unit it is. But uh, yeah, all good in Halifax, North Carolina. All right, so Kathy and I, we had a nice little lunch and we did a deep charge what are we up to what does it say state of charge 98. 98 so yeah probably not recommended but you know what we were tired we stayed on the hook belly was on dog mode it's time we're out of here now we are going to be able to cruise all right so charging stop number two a big success halifax north carolina uh they do have 20 stations there and one CCS slash Chatamo charge point unit. And, and what we learned is uh, from one of the, the workers inside is that they're in the process of putting in 24 more Tesla superchargers by the year end. And then an additional 24 by mid 2024. So the number 24 is kind of the magic number. They will have at Halifax, which is right off at 95, a great location. They will have 68 superchargers. It'll be interesting to see if they put V4s in there or if they're all going to be V3s. I don't know. But with all this talk about, you know, GM and Ford and, and all these other companies maybe throwing in the towel, who knows who's next? Uh, I think it's smart that Tesla is ramping up the number of of chargers they have there. What do you think of that stuff? Um, it works really well. It's terrific. Yeah. You're not going to get a gourmet meal, but there's food and bathrooms, little tables outside to sit. Yeah. And I actually thought one of the nicest things is that it had um, the windshield wiper. Yes. And I did use that. I did use that. Yeah. And also the, gar and the, the garbage, garbage pail, right there, which right? is sometimes a problem. Which is a which is a good thing. Which was good. So uh, great place for Bailey to run around. Yeah, I mean it was a great stop, and and the charging was excellent. We did charge though, all the way to ninety eight percent. We're tired. We just wanted to have been on the we road since six a.m. Two percent. Yeah, yeah. Which is not in my comfort level. But okay, but I know, I know. And we wasn't even. It wasn't even close, Kathy. No, it wasn't even. I know. It wasn't even something to blink an eye about. That was nothing. I mean, who makes wrong turns off of ninety-five? In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, like I've never. Well, maybe I did that once. Yeah. Yeah. But I still managed to. I just like to have a little bit more buffer. I understand. I know. I know, but it says two percent. You still have a few more miles. You could go. I get that. Yeah. But we didn't know that stop, so I knew that stop. Oh, you did? Yeah, I've been there many times. I don't think I've ever been there. Okay, well, I've been there, I don't think I've ever been there. and uh, Bailey's okay. been there. Well, I don't know. Bailey take a lot of trips without me. Bailey definitely likes that spot because she can run around a lot oh, she there. Had the best time. Yeah. 
So, but look, good stop, 68 superchargers there within one year. I, I will go back just to see that. That's incredible. I mean, that's going to give Bucky's a run for their money. They, I think Bucky's has 24. Bucky's we're, is our next stop. So we're, we're heading to Bucky's. Bucky's is 180 miles in Florence, South Carolina. And what it looks like we'll arrive with um, 16%. Yeah, I that's know. That's good for me, but we have to stop because it's Bucky's. You always have to go to Bucky's. Bucky's. They, by the way, have the cleanest restrooms. They sell artwork in the restrooms. <laughs> uh, I don't know why this is not coming up. It's telling me Bucky's, Bucky's is either 20 or 24 superchargers. No CCS there. I don't get that. But yeah, that's, true. that's just crazy. You got to go off the road. And anyway, uh, yeah, so we uh, we should be there. Yeah, we bypassed now. Looks hopefully all that traffic is behind us because we sat in a lot. Hopefully we're just smooth sailing. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there right around 7.30, a little before 7.30 p.m. Yeah, and and just to go over the, the trip, let's see. So far, we've done 500 miles and average energy is 274 watt hours per mile. So really good efficiency, but don't let that fool you. We were doing about three miles an hour for about an hour and a half. It was terrible. The construction just in Virginia, it was it was like- Well, there were also several accidents, but there that, were, last, that yeah. last stretch, that was construction really on a Saturday when it's a long weekend for people. Yeah. Well, they, look, you know what? They have to maintain the roads, so. Yeah, well, up by us, they do it at night. Yeah. They shut down the road 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, I know, I know. Just saying. All right, next stop, Bucky's. Here we come. Love Bucky. South Carolina. She's sound asleep. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto US 301 South. Are we at Bucky's? No, well, we're pulling, we're about to pull into Bucky's. It's. I love Bucky's. Yeah. Bucky's is. Bucky's is amazing. Now turn right onto US 301 yeah. South. It's, you shut your eyes. It's a couple of miles off the road. Don't you worry. No, I don't remember being a couple of miles off. It isn't? Okay. Is it that way? Wait, I forget. Okay, hold on. We're going to have dinner here. I'm really hungry. Oh, no. No. No, David. David. No. <laughs> that was not nice. David. Pedro. David. No. Bailey. 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 They have rapid charging here. I doubt it. They do. Right here. Look. It's shell right. recharge. It's the it's We're the not only stopping. No, we stop No, look, they have tacos. There's their charger. The, this is this used to be shell recharge. Look, look at look at Can we just go for this place for so Pedro? Crazy. Maybe it's possible. I don't know what these people are doing over there. Yeah, exactly. Could we please leave? This is not good. I think they're I think feeding. He's picking up a bird. He's feeding a bird, or maybe. No, hold on. I'm not using that restroom. Uh, not using the restroom. No, I, Bailey's got to go. Bailey's got to go to the dog no, park. I've seen Bailey at the dog park. Bailey loves the dog park. Why she sound asleep? Bailey. Oh, hey now! Give that, oh my God! Give that man some some TP. I know, Bailey. Oh boy, Bailey, look! 
we're here. Wait, wait, no. like, yeah. like, like, you gotta put this up. Look at that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I mean, seriously. Kathy, look at the gorilla over here. Can we just go in to pay the Mexico hey, show? Uh, oh, I am not. Are you filming? No. Oh my gosh. I'm not getting out of the car. I don't know why you don't like this place. <laughs> Cats around <laughs> the world. Even your car doesn't want to be here. I don't think anything good happens, happens at Pedro's. It does. I don't think so. It does. They have, look at these kids playing on that so. rooster. And these guys on the hippo. Yeah. Right? That's a nice little photo op for little kids. Yeah. Okay. I can't believe you reptile the exit for this. Reptile Lagoon? You don't want to go there? No. Pedro's truck stop? How about the motor in? Well, if you stay you there. Pay by the half hour. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. So as we pull into Bucky's, we are at a 17% state of charge. It's showing 54 miles of range. Not that that matters because we're here, but we just drove 126 miles in an hour and 47 minutes. I think the reason for that is because maybe someone got an ice cream cone. Maybe, I think. 296 watt hours per mile. The whole trip, we are 684 miles in and 280 watt hours per mile an excellent efficiency but again keeping in mind we had quite a bit of quite a bit of traffic in virginia so all right let's plug in dog mode will not work right away because i need it to be at 20 percent so uh what's going on here <laughs> oh there we go all right, plug it in. Let's see what it wraps up to here. As soon as we hit 20%, then we're going into Bucky's. And it should be very fast. Let's see how it ramps up here. Again, I normally try to pull in at a lower state of charge, but you can't say no to Bucky. 217, 225, 230, 234. I don't know if we're gonna see 250 at an 18%. It tapered off last time at 19%. I don't think we're gonna see 250 here, but that's okay. Yeah, see, it's it's it hit a max of 239. Now it's gonna go down a little bit, but it's time for dinner and we're gonna go into Bucky's. Look at that over there. Beautiful, you gotta love it. Okay, now we just hit 21%, so therefore we can go to dog mode. We hit here, we come over here, we hit that, and dog mode is enabled. We get out. Miss Bailey, we will be back, girl. We'll be back in a little bit, and then we'll walk you, okay? 
So off we go. And always want to make sure that it says my driver will be back soon as it does. So what do you think, Kath? Oh man, look at this. Korean barbecue. Bohemian garlic. some beef jerky yeah let's not kid ourselves because you are what you eat absolutely look at all these gas pumps over there What's that? i don't know and then we got tesla over there and we got well bucky's we'll see you great time i can't wait to eat my beef jerky for dinner yeah, not beef jerky no i'm gonna in the car beef brisket they don't have tables here yeah i know so. oh baby oh you gotta like Cheer it Cheer wine is there alcohol in it? I don't know. No. No? It's good though. Yeah. I got the zero cheer wine. Wow. I don't know what that means. Oh, sh no sugar. No alcohol. No alcohol. <laughs> Only cheer, no wine. Oh, really? <laughs> Hi, Bailey. Oh, she's being so oh. good. It's a nice night here at Bucky's, isn't it? Huh? It's a nice night. She's being a good little girl. We just had a little beef brisket picnic here. <laughs> Do you have any left from your sandwich? I just threw it out. Oh, Sorry. all right. Well, probably upset her stomach anyway. Oh, I wasn't gonna give it to her. Oh, well, I wouldn't have eaten In it. In the car? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. All right, well, here we are. We had a little picnic dinner out here. Yeah. With no biscuit on my white seats. Yeah. Look at all these Tesla superchargers here. I thought there were 20. There's 16. What a great stop this is. Bucky's is just an amazing place here. Really good. Got some good beef jerky. Anyway. Bailey. Hey, girl. Hey girl, hey, hey, what are you doing? There she is. Well, she's done everything. She's done everything? Done it all. All right. She's just, she's just loving the grass over here. You know, they have a nice dog area. They do have a nice dog area, yeah. And, uh, Billy, make sure you don't leave anything behind. Catch our drift? You catch the, oh hey oh she she left something behind. Oh man. Alright, welcome to our third charging stop of the day. Here we are in Florence, South Carolina at Bucky's. I just finished a a beef brisket sandwich. I can give that a 10 out of 10. And also the Tesla supercharging network here. We've got a series of 16 V3s. Plugged in, quite honestly, I don't even know. I didn't look. I was so excited to go into Bucky's and get me a beef brisket sandwich. But uh, we, we spent so much time. We had a little picnic picnic dinner right over here on the curb. The one thing about Bucky's is it's a great location, but they do not have seating. So when you want to actually eat your, your dinner, you got to eat it on the curb, I guess. Uh, Kathy wasn't going to let that brisket anywhere near her white seats. But listen, a good charging session. We charged really way too far. Um, up to about 99%. I did notice when we when we plugged in, it did not, I, I was at a 17% um, state of charge and it did not actually get all the way up to 250. It only got up to around 234 max, which makes sense because I was tapering off the 250 at 19% on the last charge, it was already down to 200. So look, I think a respectable charging session. 
I was distracted with Bucky. Uh, I love the guy. He's an amazing guy. And uh, yeah, so good charging session here at Bucky's. If you're in Florence, South Carolina, make sure you stop off. Great session here at Bucky's. All right, so it's a long day. Here we are in Walterboro, Georgia. We're gonna call it a night here at the Microtel Hotel. It's uh, looking good. We just got settled in the room and I've come out here to get Miss Bailey and let her do her thing. The frogs are going wild over there. I mean, it sounds like a symphony orchestra. All you need is a percussion section and uh, maybe we'll let Bailey chase the frogs a little bit, but yeah, no, this, this looks like a pretty nice place and not too expensive. Very well lit here in Walterboro, Georgia. So breakfast is at 6 a.m. We'll pick this road trip up on the way. Well, let's go in the car and see see how many miles we went. Let's. I'm curious. All right, so it's basically 11 p.m., 10.55. We have gone a total of 803 miles, and the average energy is 286 watt hours per mile. Uh, the, uh, you know, the, the thing is the speeds were quite slow as i mentioned earlier in virginia but i'm very happy with this car it's doing great so we've got about uh i would say 550 more miles to go so we did well over halfway today which is which is always a good thing so we'll call this an evening bailey you uh you ready to go take a little walk i don't know if you can see her it's kind of dark in there but uh, we're gonna go take a little walk and then we're gonna go to sleep.